If you've been following the tutorials, you'll have noticed that the number of buttons we're creating is accelerating, and pretty soon we're going to run out of space on our Android device. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create something called a scroll view. This is what it looks like. You might recognize it. I've reset the code to the state it was in the last tutorial so we can go through creating this effect. If you remember, this is our main activity, so we'll need to open the main activity layout. In the XML declaration at the beginning, you'll notice that in our main activity, we've set the layout to be relative. And what this means is that all of our elements have a layout attribute that tells you where it is relative to other items on the screen. So our first button, it's layout below the text view with ID text view. And if you look up here, here is the text view ID text view. But if you're going to use a scroll view, you need to put all of your elements in a linear layout container. So we'll do that first. We could drag and drop at this point, but it might get messy. It's fairly easy to tap away as Android Studio auto-complete things for you. So here's the linear layout tag, and we want to wrap content and wrap content again. And this tag, which is the end of our element, we'll cut that and we'll take it all the way down to the bottom of the last button we have. And that's how you surround your items in a linear layout. But you can see we've got some highlights here. Well, since these items are now contained within a linear layout, they don't need the layout description anymore, so we can delete them. And the way you can think of a linear layout is just layers of a cake. So wherever you put your item, it will be placed below the item above. Now we've fulfilled the requirement of a scroll view, we can wrap the linear layout in, in a scroll view. Wow, just look at all of this automation. And in the same way, we'll take the um, scroll view, cut that, and then surround our linear layout. Android Studio did auto complete the layout height for the scroll view, and it says wrap content, but we want to only have a height of about 100 density pixels. You should get used to using density pixels because that's scaled automatically by Android for different devices. And since our main activity is in a relative layout, we need to let scroll view know where, where it is on the screen. So we'll use the Android layout, layout below, and it's going to be below the text view, the text view that contains the hello world. And while we're in here, there's one more thing I'd like to do. Our main activity background is looking a bit bare, and since we covered that in the last tutorial, I've already added a background image we can use. And I've called it BG main activity, BG for background. Let's run the application. Well, there's nothing like real-time coding, is there? Um, the background turned out OK, but you can see our buttons aren't arranged vertically. Well, if we go back to the XML file, inside our linear layout, it's obviously defaulted to horizontal. Don't panic. If you type in Android orientation and vertical, hit save, and let's rerun that. You can see that now the items are above one another. But again, they're not in the center of the screen. Well, there is a uh, attribute called gravity for a linear layout. And if we go back into the XML code, find our linear layout. And if we access the uh, gravity attribute and set that to center, we should be okay. Let's run the application. Well, again, that didn't work out. So what's going on? Well, if we go back into our XML file, what we need to do is pass this up through the nested layout of the, for the scroll view containing the linear layout containing all of these, these buttons. We need to look at the width of the linear layout. 
and we want to fill fill the parent container. What's the parent container? That's the scroll view. Well, we also want to fill the parent, which is the whole, which is the screen. So we'll set that to fill parent. And let's hit save and run that. And now if we look up our application, we've got what we wanted at the beginning. The button width at the moment is wrapping the text. And if we go back into our XML file, we can see what these attributes mean, get an understanding of what they mean. So here's the first button and we have the layout width attribute and it wraps its content. But if we set that to fill parent, the button will fill the entire width of the parent container. And, and here is what it looks like. I'm going to undo that. I, uh, I want to be able to see the nice background we have for this activity. So we'll go back into the XML file and we'll change that to back to wrap content. And here are our buttons and they still work. So if we tap uh, this button, we can see the activity and get back out of it. And that's it. Um, layout design. We could spend many tutorials covering all the different attributes, but I think if you have something in mind and a certain arrangement of buttons, you can look up which attributes you'll need to create the effect that you want. And I hope that this tutorial has covered the basics for the layouts. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching.